Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we are looking at setting precast concrete superior walls. Exciting day here on our job site. We are actually in, a, in the process of setting our superior wall foundation. Um, superior walls, if you've never seen them before, are precast concrete walls. They're precast in a facility offsite. They're pre-insulated and pre-studded. So this wall system, we're gonna set in place for a basement on this particular house with a crane. You see the crane behind me? See the precast wall panels behind me? The crane's gonna be picking up those wall panels and setting them in place on a compacted stone footing. These wall panels aren't gonna require anything else. They're gonna be ready for sheetrock when we go to finish. They're gonna be ready to pull wire through and to, to rough our electrical into. Fantastic system. They are also inherently waterproof and they carry a lifetime waterproof and structural warranty to the original homeowner that reverts to a 15 year warranty if the homeowner ever sells the house. I love products where the manufacturer stands behind them with a stout warranty. I've been using this product, Superior Walls, for over 20 years and we've just had fantastic results from the system. Super strong from a structural standpoint, inherently waterproof, ready to finish, and all at a cost that comes in um, apples to apples less in our market than a poured concrete wall. So we're gonna take a look at how this all goes today. You're gonna see a few different uh, details from the stone footings and how those are compacted and put together, all the way to squaring up the foundation and then ultimately setting the walls in place. So join us, stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. We're here at the, uh, at the foundation level and our crew has set the first panel of the superior wall foundation system. A couple of things you can see behind me that uh, there's a lot of gravel, a lot of stone, and these are actually designed into this engineered system. The stone that you see behind me is actually the footing or the subgrade foundation support for these precast walls. Precast walls actually have a bond beam or a footing cast into the bottom of the wall that serves as the structural footing for the wall, but they have to be placed on a stone foundation of a certain size. This stone happens to be 789 stone, which is uh, roughly the size of pea gravel. And that stone subfooting is actually compacted with a plate vibrating compactor by the crew here. They set that to be dead level and then they set the foundation walls on top of that footing. It's a really, really cool system. And structurally, this system is far, far superior to other alternatives like CMU block or even a poured concrete wall. I would argue this system is more robust and stronger and has many other inherent benefits over a cast in place concrete wall. As you can see behind me, they're swinging in the second precast wall panel with the crane. There's something magical about an engineered off-site system. We had done a poured concrete wall on this, on this project. We would have had to have the concrete contractor come in and set forms up. Those forms then would have had to have rebar installed and tied in. Just days and days of work, then we would have had to come pour the concrete, filling the forms, and then we'd have to wait and let that concrete set up. And then we'd have to strip the forms. And then we would have to do several other things that we don't have to do here, like waterproof the outside of the poured walls, frame the inside of the poured walls, insulate the poured walls, all these extra steps that with this turnkey solution, they're all done off site. We set the panel in place and it is ready to go we're ready to go to our next step. Now on this particular house, this is about a 2,500 square foot house, pretty small footprint, but the, uh, the basement's around 1,200 square feet. We're gonna have this foundation in um, today, before the end of the day. This is gonna go very fast. 
foundation's gonna be done and we're gonna be ready to roll right in with our plumbers to do the underside plumbing right after these walls are set. So the team member here at the top of the wall, he's taking that clamp and now that this next panel's set, he's gonna clamp the two panels so that they're completely flush and even with one another. And then he's gonna insert the bolt through the steel bolt hole that ties back to the rebar and, and wire. He's gonna insert that bolt through the bolt holes, put a nut on it and lock washers and he's gonna ratchet that bolt tight. The wall panels have an integral lip where they interface and that lip just kind of locks them in together. The joints between the walls are sealed with a polyurethane sealant. It's a moisture cure polyurethane sealant that is part of the engineered system and seals every joint in the middle, on the outside, and on the inside of the joint. So we've got triple layer protection with the sealant and that interlocking uh, panel lip that creates the structural connection between the panels. Not to mention the panels have steel rebar and wire mesh down through the concrete that tie into screw uh, through bolt holes where the panels are then lagged together with bolts. Here, the set crew is about to install the center layer of the polyurethane sealant. They put one nice heavy bead down the center of the panel. Here's the outside layer of the polyurethane sealant going in between the joint. And they are generous with the amount of sealant they put in this joint. That joint will be completely full and then tooled smooth. And that's an addition to the joint on the center, in the center of the wall, and another joint of sealant that will go on the interior of the wall. So now it's about uh, an hour later from when I last posted to you where we were setting those front panels. And you can tell, making a lot of progress. Foundation, this basement foundation is almost done. We started setting wall panels um, probably two hours, two and a half hours ago. And we have about, oh, I'd say one, two, three, four, five more panels to go. So we're gonna be done just after lunch and probably didn't start setting wall panels until about 10 o'clock today. These superior wall panels are a fantastic product. If it were my house, it would be on a superior wall foundation. We really encourage all of our clients to go superior walls when it's uh, a basement foundation as well. It's about to be the end of the day here at installing uh, this superior wall foundation. The crew showed up probably around eight o'clock. Uh, they started setting wall panels, I'd say around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And what you see behind me is the last wall panel being set. And it is currently 10 till one in the afternoon. So literally this basement foundation from start to finish the foundation walls uh, took eh, a little over five hours, um, if, if really that much. And this is a great example of how modular components can be used to greatly improve the efficiency of the on-site construction process. Now, this is not what we would consider volumetric modular. This is a panelized concrete basement wall system but boy, when you talk about efficiency and you talk about truly a high performance product, we're getting not only one of the best products in terms of performance for our foundation, but we're also getting it done fast because of the efficiency of this system. 
I hope you've enjoyed going through this uh, installation. We'll be covering some more of the details on the Superior Wall uh, system in uh, subsequent videos. But if you like what you see, I really encourage you to follow us on uh, YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and uh, our goal here is to give you educational and informational construction information. Thanks for joining and uh, look forward to seeing you on another one coming up soon.